In this video I'll show you how to turn a low poly model into a smooth looking model without adding any extra typology to the model. But not only how to make a smooth looking model but also how to control that smoothness in various ways that I don't see often talked about. And some of the information I'll be talking about in this video is some of the stuff that I didn't know for the longest time and was revolutionary for me when I realized it. While I've been away I've also seen a lot of comments on people asking to make my videos shorter. So instead of having several topics in a long video that's like 40 minutes long, I'm gonna cut it down to smaller segments that's gonna tie together one bigger subject. And the subject I wanna talk about today is how to control subdivision and smoothness. This is the only model that we're gonna be using. I'm not gonna show you how to model this, but if you want to have this exact model to follow along, I'm gonna pin it in a comment down below. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is add something called subdivision modifier to a model here. Now to add a modifier, you have to go over here to the modifier properties panel. Up here you can see there's a drop down menu called add modifier. One of the tools we're gonna be talking about today is the subdivision surface modifier. You can see when I apply it to my model, it becomes all smooth looking. If we look here at the subdivision modifier, you can see I can control its smoothness here by increasing or decreasing this value. The difference between the top and the bottom one is that this is for your viewport while you're editing it, and the bottom here is for while you're rendering out an image. So if you want it to be more smooth while rendering out, you can make this number higher than the viewport level one. Now I would suggest to keep the viewport one quite low, as it can be quite tasking on your computer. I usually keep mine between one to two. If it's for a video game, I try to keep it on one, and if it's just for a nice image, I keep it on two. And for the sake of this video, I'll just keep the rendering on two as well. Now, how do I take this model here and make it look like this without adding any more typology to it? Well, first we gotta go into edit mode. You can see here, I have a shadow of the actual looking model. So you can see that it's still the same model down here, but it just looks smoother due to the modifier. One thing I like to turn on here is this button here called uncage. It basically wraps that low poly model around the smooth looking model. So you can see if I select it, it's still the same four faces that are all around the model as we see down here. Now, but how do we control this? How do we make this here look like that without adding any more typology to it? What some people would do would be to go in here and actually add more loops and kind of scale them down like this. And I did this for the longest time, but a nice viewer in my Twitch chat called Ray told me that if I select a loop here and I press Shift E, I can control the sharpness of it so let's try and take the loop here, this top loop and bottom loop here on the little extrusion, press Shift E, and you can see I make it all sharp looking there. So you can go in here and select various edge loops and press Shift E to control the sharpness. And I'll obviously do that everywhere here where I want to select that smoothness. Take the bottom face here, Shift E, and you can see it's nice and flat looking now, but we still have that subdivision modifier on, and I haven't added any more typology. And like I mentioned, what I would do in the past and what I see a lot of people do is just going in here and add another loop like this, and we can get away with this by just pressing Shift E, so we're not adding any more faces, and we always want to try and keep our model as low as possible without adding any unnecessary typology to it. So let's go around and do this on all the edges here. I'm going to take the top, and I'm going to take the bottom in here, Shift E. And you can see this is now all nice and smooth looking. I can see I still have some edges here and those are not necessary now to keep that smoothness. So select all those, press X and I'm going to dissolve these edges. And you can see with this how low poly the model actually is now. And we're still getting this same look here. I'll show some more examples with this in a bit more complex setting later on. All right, so the next thing we want to do is make it all smooth looking because we don't want to see all the polygons here. And the simplest way to do that is basically by either right clicking if you have the right click context menu or W if you select with right click and set the shading to smooth. Now it does look kind of weird right now and it does not look like this here at all, but there's a way we can get that result quite easily. And here I'm going to talk about the second modifier that I want to show you today. So let's go over here to the modifier drop down menu and select the one called edge split. And you can see I get the look automatically here right away, but I'm actually going to turn off this edge angle, which automatically checks for sharp edges and generates that sharpness look. And in the sake of this video, I want to show how to do this manually because you'll need to do that 
once we dip into a more complex model. So let's once again hop into edit mode. I'm gonna select the top edge here, control E, and down here you have something called mark sharp. Now if I select this and I go out of edit mode, you can now see that edge is marked as sharp, which means it doesn't have this weird grading blending that it's trying to do. But you wanna be careful that you don't do it to an edge that you want to actually look smooth. You can see if I do it on that corner there, it kind of looks a bit weird and wrong. So obviously I wanna go into edit mode and select that and clear sharpness. So let me select all the edges that I want to make sharp looking. And then control E, mark sharp. And now you can see I have a nice smooth looking model, but the model in reality is this exam model down here. So if I go into edit mode again and I turn off this cage, you can see that it's just this really low poly model that I'm controlling with the subdivision and edge splitter to get this nice look. This is extremely handy because it leaves a lot less typology for you to work around with without having to deal with a extremely high poly model. So you can do this by just having a extremely low poly model. Now let me show you a character I made a long time ago. This is not the best model, but I just wanna give you an example of how this works. You can see here, if I go into edit mode, it's a quite low poly model. It's all right, it's not the best, but it gets the jobs done. You can see if I turn off the cage here, you can see that it's quite a chunky square boy, but the subdivision modifier makes it a lot smoother and nice looking. And this is really nice because I don't have to worry about as much typology to edit this low poly model. Now he's a real chunky boy. And you can see here, if I go in and select his feet here for an example, press shift E and drag my mouse. You can see I can control the smoothness of it because I want his feet to be quite, you know, flat. This is how I can get that flat look without having to add a bunch of uh, typology within it. Now, obviously this is not the best looking model. I would probably have done something differently today, but this is just kind of to give you an example of how you can use this and control the smoothness of your model. Let's take his arm here for an example. Press Shift E, you can see how I can control the sharpness here. I could remove this edge loop here and I could control that sharpness simply by going in there. And this gives me a reason not to have as much typology, but still get a nice result by keeping it fairly low poly. Now, I just wanna show a character I made a while back here as well and show some examples of how I've used this. You can see here on the back of this bat, she has these kind of spiky little hairs. Those are made with sharpness. So let me try and select all these and press Shift E and then drag in to remove that sharpness. And you can see this is how they would look without that control of smoothness. And by going in here, selecting these edges, Shift E, you can then have some control of that smoothness on various parts of a model. This video is not really about teaching you how to model something specific, but more about good workflows and practices. So that's how you control subdivision and smoothness in your 3D models. I hope this was a bit informative. I hope you learned something new. And we're gonna be using this technique a lot once we start going into modeling various things from now on. As this is a core thing I do in my 3D modeling workflow to not only keep it as low poly as possible, but also as easy to work with as possible. Well, with that said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.